Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 18. Now let's discuss electron gain enthalpy. So when electron is added to a neutral gaseous atom, please note electron is added, added to a neutral gaseous atom and it converts into negative ion, right? The electron enthalpy change is there and the enthalpy change in this process is nothing but electron gain enthalpy correct it provides a measure of the ease with which an electron can be added please note in the earlier case ionization enthalpy it provides the ease with which an electron can be removed from an atom in this case it provides the ease with which an electron can be added to an atom to form an ion. The equation is like this, you have any gaseous neutral atom and then you add an electron, it becomes a negative charge, right? And if you see this guy, first thing, it can be exothermic and endothermic both. That means you can either energy is required or energy is limited, right? In case it is negative, that means energy is liberated, right? It is exothermic. And when you need energy, it is positive. So it can be positive or negative. Correct. And it says that this electron gain enthalpy becomes more negative across a period as we move from left to right. And within a group, this guy becomes less negative. So if you're talking about a scenario where energy is liberated. Correct. So in this case, we are saying that more and more energy is more energy is liberated that is comes out as we go from here to here. Why? If you see, for example, calcium, right? It needs only one electron, so it is uh, dying to get an electron. It will it'll give some energy when it gets the electron, right? Similarly, oxygen, it needs two electrons. So it is dying to get but two electrons. So it is little less uh, interested in getting one electron. So but chlorine is more dying to get one electron. So that's why when you add an electron to chlorine, more energy is liberated, then you add electron to oxygen. Correct. And if you go down actually, less energy is liberated. Less energy is I'm talking about the scenario where energy is liberated only now. Correct? Why? Because if you see uh, the size is more, the neutron is, if you go down the group I'm telling, the size is more, the neutron is not having control of the electron and the neutron is not enough powerful to invite extra electron, right? Because there are shells here, the shielding effect is there. So this guy, neutron is not enough capable of getting more electrons. So as you increase the size, this neutron is uh, neutron's capability to attract more electron is decreasing. That's why if you go down, the energy liberated decreases. Hope you understand. See if you go down, if you go in this direction, the size it's all about, or you can say that it's nothing but neutron's power attract electron. Attract electron. External electron, we attract external electron. Okay. This is nothing but neutron power to attract external electron. So if you go in this group, in this in the same uh, period, the atomic size decreases, the neutrons has more power, right? If you uh, see here and here, so this guy here neutrons um, in neutron has more power the neutron size is also increasing and the atomic size is decreasing the neutron has more power to attract electrons so the energy liberated will be more right so the electron gain enthalpy becomes all the more negative that means all more energy is liberated when you go from here if you go down the group uh, the the neutron power is decreasing to attract electron because of the size of the atom increasing and the sealing effect so if you see this table, right, my hydrogen and helium, but if you see the, uh, if you see all this noble gas has positive 
electron gain enthalpy. Why? Because they are all stable. They don't want to get extra electron. But if you still want to put one extra electron in the atom, you have to provide energy. And that's why if you see, they have all the positive values. But for generally, general other uh, element has negative values because they are able to reduce to attract electron. But for the, uh, this guy, it is not able to be. It is not able to attract electron. Right? Because they are all noble, noble gas. They are stable. They don't want extra electrons. So if you if you still want to put extra electron in this and make the one stable, you have to provide energy. So they are all positive. But if you see rest are negative. Sure. So if you see hydrogen, and if you see if you go down the group here, if you see the value is becoming less negative. That means less energy is liberated. Why? Because the size is increasing. Right? The size is increasing, and the neutrons capability of uh, attracting electron is decreasing. If you go from here to here, if you see the size is decreasing, right? The size is, or I'll have only one shell actually, one shell, but the size is decreasing. This guy is increasing, the neutron is increasing, the size of the atom is decreasing. Correct? Size of atom is all the more less actually, it's going down, this is more. Size of atom is decreasing, so this electron, this neutron has more capability to attract the external electron, right? So external electron can easily be attracted. So if you see, it is getting all the more negatives. Compare from here, it's getting all the more negative. Hope you understand the trend. It's all about the neutron power to attract external electrons. So the neutron is powerful enough to attract external electron. The electron gain enthalpy will be all the more negative. So in most of the cases, it's negative. Only in case of my noble gas, where they don't want to get an extra electron, it is false. As I told, process of adding electron can either be exothermic or endothermic. That means it can give energy, it can take energy. Mostly, it is exothermic. Only for the noble gas, gas, it uh, you need a positive energy, you need energy, and for other thing it gives right the group 17 elements the halogens chlorine chlorine on they have very high negative electron enthalpy because they want to get one electron and to attain stable noble gas configuration so that is one reason why the group 17 has very very high negative value very very high negative value why because they just want to get electron to be stable. So they have special reason to attract an electron. Noble gases are high positive electron gain enthalpy. Why? Because they are all stable in life. They don't want to make their life miserable by getting one more extra electron. Right? Electron gain enthalpy becomes more negative with increase in atomic number across a period. As I told, across a period, if you go, the atom size decreases, the proton size increases, the atom size decreases, right? So the capability of this uh, proton, the nucleus to attract uh, more electron, external electron is more, right? So the electron gain enthalpy, that's the energy released, will increase all the more, so it will become all the more negative, right? In a group, if you see, it becomes less negative down the group because why as I told that if you go down the group this is one shell this is two shell this is three shell like this right so the number of shell increase the size increase so the capability of this uh, neutron the nucleus to attract external electron is decreasing so it becomes less negative down thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.